This is a movie about our yellow-legged frog project. This is a first grade classroom, and this project started at the beginning of the year when students were reviewing letters of the alphabet. Each letter of the alphabet was an animal that started with that letter, found in Marin County, or if I couldn't find an animal that started with that letter in Marin County, it was the greater California area. We located the animals on a map, and students learned information about each animal from a keynote presentation which included videos and pictures of each animal. Letter F was frog, specifically the yellow-legged frog. On the keynote presentation that I put together for each letter, I explained that this creature used to be found all over California, but was now quite scarce. I excitedly told my first graders that I actually found an egg sac and some adult frogs on two different hikes to Carson Falls. I also explained that there were local people trying to help save the frog. There were signs posted near the falls that told people about the yellow-legged frog, and a frog docent was stationed there to talk to people about this rare species. Several things contributed to the decline in this frog's numbers. During the gold rush, the hungry miners ate frog legs. They were cheap and plentiful until too many were eaten. Then, as the yellow-legged frog became scarce, non-native bullfrogs were brought in. The yellow-legged frogs were also eaten by the non-native bullfrogs. Hydro mining resulted in many creeks and streams becoming too muddy for frogs to lay their eggs. Over time, dams, homes, and reservoirs were built that destroyed more habitat. Finally, pesticides used on crops were toxic and leached into our waterways, killing more frogs. My students wanted to do something to help save the yellow-legged frog, too. So we decided to bring in a frog expert from Marin Municipal Water District to help us. Before she came, we read a book about frogs and the activities that people around the world are doing now to help save their native frogs. We also came up with questions for our local expert. And basically, all of the issues facing the yellow-legged frog are kind of facing frogs worldwide. So what are some of the things we can do to protect frogs and to keep them around for future generations? Another big issue was people's dogs would come and walk through the water and that was also dislodging the eggs and causing frog deaths. So keeping your dog on a leash around the falls is really important. And lastly, if you guys have an older sibling or a parent that loves to hike and um, is into, into frogs, you, could, you can have them sign up to be a docent. After hearing the frog expert, we listed ways that people can help frogs. We also talked about ways to inform others using media so that a larger audience could help save the yellow-legged frog. Students worked together in groups to make posters. Students also wrote frog poems that will be published later in our local Fast Forward newspaper. The last part of this movie are the presentations that each group created to help save the yellow-legged frog. The students decided that the most powerful way to inform others was to post an informative movie to YouTube. And yes, even first graders have heard of it. A way to help the yellow-legged frog is to keep a dog on a leash. This is a picture of the yellow-legged frog. Don't use bug spray. This is a picture of a frog in clean water. Don't eat yellow-legged frogs. This is a picture of a person just about to eat a yellow-legged frog, and there is a um, circle with a line in the middle, and it means um, do not eat them. This is a picture of a yellow-legged frog. Don't release yellow-legged <coughs> frogs. This is a picture of a yellow-legged frog. <laughs> Go. This is a way to help the yellow-legged frog. Don't use...
use toxic spray to kill weeds. This is the environment of the yellow legged frog. This is the yellow legged frog. This is this is a in the olden days when people were hydro mining with houses on on hillsides and they will fill up creeks and bones. Now in these days they get buckets and and this you know big and they fill it up with dirt with all the dirt that they use. This is a picture of the yellow-legged frog. That's a picture of bug spray. Well, that's somebody spraying bug spray. This, um, be careful when bugs are crossing. This is the yellow-legged frog, and be careful if frogs crossing here. This is someone, uh, someone stopping when uh, frogs are crossing.